Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back, ranking my top 20 favorite Wild Eye covers. Last year, Jason and I hosted the Top 20 for 2020 series. Well, it's no longer 2020, so we needed to come up with something else. And so, we present to you the Top 20 to 1 for 2021. It's basically the same thing with a different name. The categories may also be a bit different, however, and that will affect the rules. We can still only feature 20 films. No honorable mentions. And Jason and I will again only be featuring films we actually own on physical media. As for the other rule, only one film per franchise, well, that'll be on a case-by-case -case basis. And with this list, it's not one of those times. You will, in fact, be seeing two films from the same trilogy on this list. This year, Jason and I also decided not to randomly select themes. We will simply choose themes that we want. So, for this first top 20 to 1 for 2021, we decided to count down our top 20 favorite Wild Eye covers. Not necessarily our favorite Wild Eye movies. This ranking will be based solely on cover art. As with all of my other rankings, I will be starting with my least favorite, number 20, and working my way to my favorite, number 1. Of course, please keep in mind this is just my personal opinion. And so, here we go. My first top 20 to 1 for 2021 of my top 20 favorite Wild Eye covers. Coming in at number 20 is a movie from the Wild Eye Raw and Extreme line. It's Creeps. At number 19 is the first movie I ever reviewed for the Slashback Challenge, and it has classic 80s slasher cover art, even though it's not actually an 80s slasher. Party Night. Coming in at number 18 is a very unique movie with a very intriguing cover, Soft Matter. At number 17 is a Wild Eye slasher that I still haven't watched. It's Blood Slaughter Massacre. Coming in at number 16 is the only Wild Eye VHS on this list, because it's the only Wild Eye VHS I own, The Bloody Ape. More classic artwork. Creepy clowns usually make for a good horror movie cover. And this is no exception. Clown of the Dead at number 15. My number 14 pick is very reminiscent of the cover of Pledge Night. It's Sodomaniac. And at number 13 is a cover reminiscent of that of The Mutilator. It's Killer Campout. Coming in at number 12 is a badass cover for a badass movie. First Person Shooter. One of my favorite Wild Eye films. Next up at number 11 is Beaten to a Pulp. Check that out. We're into the top 10 now, and coming in at number 10 is Dropping Evil. At number 9 is one of those films I told you would be appearing from the same trilogy. This is Grime Wave. And the film that precedes it in the trilogy is Gorgasm, coming in at number 8. I mean, look at that. That guy's getting his head chopped with a chainsaw. Coming in at number 7 is another movie I still need to watch. Bread and Circus. It has an awesome cover, though. And at number 6 is another one of my favorite Wild Eye films. Scream Park. This is the Blu-ray cover art, which is different from the DVD. And at number 5, yet another one of my favorite Wild Eye films, with Blu-ray art that differs from the DVD release. Chocolate, Strawberry, Vanilla. I love this movie, and I love this cover. Coming in at number four is a bonkers movie with some bonkers cover art, but it's fantastic. Frankie in Blunderland. In third place is Stabbed in the Face. I reviewed this one, and it's one of those cases where the cover art is probably better than the film. But, I mean, the cover is amazing, so that's hard to beat. But my number two pick does beat it and is actually my favorite Wild Eye film, The House on Cuckoo Lane. This is an incredible cover, and it was almost my number one. But that honor has to go to Morbid, my number one favorite Wild Eye cover. Look at it. It's spectacular. And you know what? The movie itself isn't that bad either. 
I actually had a lot of fun watching this one with Jason a while back, and then we reviewed it. One thing we absolutely agreed on in that review is Morbid has a cool cover. It's so cool, in fact, that it's my number one favorite Wild Eye cover. So, there you have it, guys. My first top 20 to 1 for 2021 of my top 20 favorite Wild Eye covers. What do you think? Comment below and let me know. Please be sure to check out Jason's top 20 as well. And, as always, feel free to join in. Thanks for watching, guys. Be kind. Subscribe.